If the move to Norfolk does allow them to scale down their working hours, John and Julie have expressed an interest in helping out with rescue animals, so they're keen to discover more about animal welfare in the area and opportunities for them to get involved. With that in mind, we've arranged for them to visit Hillside Animal Sanctuary in Frettenham, which is home to over 3,000 animals who have had to be rescued, rehomed or rehabilitated. The sanctuary covers 2,000 acres and was opened by Wendy Valentine in 1995. Wendy runs it with John Watson, who has kindly volunteered to show our couple around. We've got lots of animals here. We've got over 2,000 horses, 500 sheep and goats, 400 cows, 300 pigs, lots of smaller animals like rabbits, hens, and ducks, and dogs as well. It's a massive challenge raising the funds to look after these animals. We do rely entirely on public donations. We're lucky to have fantastic supporters who I think share our vision of the way animals should be treated. I see you have some uh, foals in the paddock here. Did they come in as rescues or were they born here? The mares you can see are from a stray horse pound and they were pregnant when we rescued them and uh, were able, lucky enough, to, to give birth at the sanctuary. And it's one of the things that makes you realise you're doing something that needs to be doing and you know that they would have been shot or put to sleep if we hadn't been able to take them in. The animals are lucky to have been rescued into this environment and John and Julie are eager to see more of the farm. Why do you see so many of these animals coming into you? There are so many reasons. Sometimes people can't afford them anymore. Sometimes they don't want them anymore. The, the animal may have an injury, and it, perhaps if it's a horse, it can't be ridden. And of course, horses are getting dumped all across the country. Stray horses are being left, left fly grazing. We just try and give them as, as nice a life as we can. We give them the sanctuary life here, and they can just live out their days, really, together with the friends they come in with. The farm also has a rescue kennel, which looks after around 40 dogs at any one time. Those which can't be rehomed live permanently in a quiet area of the sanctuary. With so much work to be done, experienced dog handlers like John and Julie are very welcome to volunteer for tasks such as dog walking. Kennel supervisor Holly Melton explains more. So how many times do you have to take them out? Or how many times do you um, try to take them out? So basically, because we haven't got a huge amount of staff, um, we have exercise paddocks instead. Yeah. So we have six paddocks and we rotate the dogs every 15 minutes. So every single dog, we try to get them out three or four times That's a day good. for 20 That's minutes good. at a time. So how difficult is, is it to rehome rotties like these? They have to go as a pair because their brothers would never think about separating them because Troy is totally dependent on Hector. And obviously all of the bad press about dogs mm. like these, Staffies, Rottweilers, Dobermans, um, it makes it a lot harder to rehome them because people come in and they're like, oh, we don't want those kind of dogs. But, you know, you guys have met these two and they are the softest dogs in the world. Well, thanks for showing us around. Hopefully we'll see you again for Hopefully, another one. Yes. We'll give you some different ones next time. <laughs> OK, cool. <laughs> The sanctuary's work has hopefully given Julie and John an insight into how they could meaningfully spend their free time when they move to Norfolk.